Hello everyone, Miguel here from Unique Web Designer and welcome to episode number 20 from my Boost Your Business series. In this series, I choose service-based business websites. I look over them live, no editing or anything. And I see if there are things that I can change on those websites in order to increase their conversions. The goal of the series is that by you going live over these websites with me, you can see the way I look at these pages and you can implement certain things that your website may be missing to also increase your conversions and obviously bring more money to your pocket. So I already have a search prepared and this time it's going to be a four ladder the electrician. And one thing just um, there's some construction going on next door. So you may hear a banging here and there. So please forgive me for that and so the the search that i that i did was for a lot of the electricians so let's go down and see if anybody looks interesting and we have streamline tmp handy electrical florida so let's use this guy so he has a 4.6 star rating from 10 feedback so that's not bad and let's go ahead and go to the website, see what we have going on. Okay. So right away, the website, as you can see it here at the top left, they have their phone number. I would probably change that a little bit. Um, I, I would probably give it a, a different background and probably move it to the to the left. I mean, to, to the right, the middle or so somewhere somewhere over here because right now the main thing that you can see is the is the handyman electric logo which is good i actually like this logo it basically tells anybody that's looking at the logo without knowing anything about the company what they do which is you know have something to do with with electric with electric services so that's very good and the menu is nice as well looks crisp easy to 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 navigate but the phone number i would accentuate it i would make it larger or i would give it a different background or if i hover over it i may you know like change the color or something just to accentuate it because that's literally the only call to action that i see on this page yes you can go to their contact us but there's no call to action here it just says since 1969 but there's no call to action there's no information about the company there's nothing above the fold which i'll explain what about the fold is so pretty much anything that you can see when you arrive in a website is called above the fold so this is what you want to put most of your effort in when it comes to conversion rate optimization because when people arrive at your website, they're going to make a decision on whether they like your website or not within literally half a second, if not less. So they're going to look and if they don't like what they see, they're going to hit the back button and they're going to go to a competitor. So make sure that your that your hero section, your above the full section has your phone number a way to a, a separate way of contacting you like a form or 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 a button of some sort and make sure that it tells people what it is that you do with service based business i also like it to to focus on a specific city or a specific area so i would say in this case i would say since the search that we did was for lot of the electrician right here i could be i could say for a lot of the electrician or or award-winning for a lot of the electrician or electric service or or whatnot Wh whatever it is that you want to say but make sure that you're combining the city with your service or you could even you could even put this in there um providing say electric service in for lauderdale since 1969 you know like so something that that tells people exactly who you are, what you do, where you do it, since you're providing a service, and then a call to action, like a button. Book your free consultation, or 
book a service call whatever whatever terminology works with your you know with your in your industry use that like let me show you on our website so when it comes to to the content so right here fort lauderdale web design agency in other words where in fort lauderdale what do we do we do web design so everybody knows web design web development all of that it's in the same bubble so if anybody arrives here they don't have to guess yes they know that they that that in google they they put in say for a lot of the web designer but they arrived at a website that they've never seen before so you want to hey this is what i do this is where i do it and as you can see the phone number you see ev everything here has it's crisp you can see it but over here the phone number has a separate background when you hover over it it changes color so it accentuates that so my call to action call me right here book a free consultation so that's a call to action you're telling somebody hey contact me here book a free consultation and then we also have the chat right here which literally says we are here in other words we're giving you every which way of contacting us and right away we're giving you all of the information that you need to basically get you closer to making a decision to either call us chat with us or book in a free consultation in this website they have the the, the phone number right here it's not being it, it's not it doesn't pop but they but they have it the thing that pops from over here the top left is their logo so i would just move it move the phone number to the middle or make it bigger have a different background so that when people come they can see it you know like a lot of people they may not even read all this information over here and they may just trust whatever google google um showed showed on the results so they may just click there and want to call you you know so give everybody as much information about the company as you can above the fold but not too much content just hey this is who we are this is what we do and this is where we do it then have a call to action which in 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 my case is book a free web design consultation in this case it could be book a service call or or book a consultation and i would definitely add the the chat over here just because you know a lot of people they they may they may be busy they may be at work so they may not be able to pick up the phone and actually talk to you but if they see a chat they may be oh well let me take a couple of minutes and while i'm working i can just text this individual and see about their services or see if they can come out this weekend or so on so give people multiple ways of being able to contact you so that that doesn't so that contacting you doesn't become a deterrent so make it easy for them and let's just i'm just curious so the contact if you click contact they have a bunch of information here they have the phone number they have the address so they're in dania and then they have the hours of operation so so this is good but remember like when people arrive at your website they want to they want to find everything easy like if somebody just wants to call you contact you they like don't make them go to a separate page yes a lot of people will go to a contact page just because they're used to it but if you have your phone number a form and a chat right in here then people are just gonna be like oh oh this is so easy boom they'll contact you and uh, all you have to do is sell your service so now as far as the the slider that they have here so we follow all cdc guidelines for your safety since 1969 no job too big handy electric okay so so this slider isn't really doing too much it's just giving random information we follow all cdc i mean they they could do this just on with an with an image on the background and then text above it and they could put all this information instead of having people 
have to hit their sliders and wait because basically you you don't want to complicate things like make it easy show all of, all the information that you need to show and you can put on there in like you know in big letters you could have like Fort Lauderdale electrician and then below what below that you could have in, in a little bit smaller letter we follow all CDC guidelines and then you can say that you've been around since 1969 kind of like in our case for lot of the web design agency and then in smaller letters from idea to reality let's build your dream website then you have the book a the book of free web design consultation so they could literally mimic this over here instead of having this slider and still no call to action above the full so that would definitely increase their their conversions greatly and let's keep going down let's see what they have rely on our experts with your electrical system so this right here could actually be the content that they put up here so it just depends you know what 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 information they want to put out at the very at the very top but that could this 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 would be perfect i would just add you know the four lauderdale so that people know oh this is the area or they could put broward county so people know oh i'm in broward since four lauderdale so they they mentioned denia beach lauder hill for lauderdale they're all in broward county so they could just put broward county people know where they live so if it turns on electricity we can install it okay and then they have the call to action over here so here they have contact us today at to schedule your electrical services so in this instance they can make this a button like if i'm reading over this page and i'm coming down i may miss that there's a phone number there but if you have a button that's different from all of the information here, then I'm going to see it and then I'm either going to call you or I'm just going to skip over it. But at least I'm able to see it. So right here they have their services. So one thing that, that I that I would do in this case, so you have this information. This is actually fine. But right here I will put a title. So I will title this section like services or electrical services or whatever you wanted to call it but have a title kind of tie kind of to when you go from one section to the other add a title so that it's easier for people to just scan your website where they're looking trying to get you know as much information about your services as possible so right here commercial electrical services reduce your carbon footprints with led lighting and then learn more so so as you can see right here in this section you can actually see what it is that they want you to do learn more so this is the first place that this website is actually giving you a call to action that that you can see that's viewable that's different so right here you can see learn more it's a button it changes colors so i know that if i want to know more information about any of these services i click learn more and it should take me to another page where i can learn about those services so just keep that in mind like they could have had a button here as well just to accentuate the call to action and over here so they're saying we're certified to handle all industrial and commercial applications so this is the title of this section which is good and then they have an image to the left and it looks it's not a stock image so it's very good when you're providing services i always recommend that you use your own images you don't grab stock images online because people can see it people know what a stock image is and another benefit too when they see you know like a real image or a team member doing doing some work or you yourself as the owner it's it's they it makes more connection with that individual that's you know researching about electrical service in this case and it's much easier to sell something to somebody that's familiar with you and your team and what you do than it is you know kind of like a cold call
where they don't know you, they never seen you, they don't know what you do. So it's always better to have, to sprinkle throughout your website, legitimate pictures of, you know, the services that you provide, you providing the service and images of your team members or, or of you as the, as the business owner. It's always good because it makes better connection. And then here they have the phone number once again. So, but there's no call to action right here. So this section here, it's good. It's great. It's giving some more information about the company and, and the service that they provide, but there's no call to action. It's basically all text. There's not a button say, Hey, do this. So in other words, you have to decide, do I want to click on this link on this one, on this one, on this one, or this one? No, have a button that clearly specifies what you want that person to do. So right here, let us keep you in power. We offer comprehensive electric solutions and a contact us. So this is a button. Once again, this one is good. So it's actually, you know, it's accentuated. So you have the text, but then you have the contact button. So you can see it, you can clearly see it. And people would be more likely to hit this contact button than over here trying to figure out where it is that they need to click. And so how we'll take care of you. So they have some more content and this looks like an image of them. So, so this is actually good. And this is one of their vans, handy electric. Yes. So, so this is very good and our satisfied customers. So right here, they work with large companies. So that's good. If you have a well-known company that you've done business with and they allow you to, to, to use their brand on your website, definitely mention it. And the reason being is that, you know, like say in this case, they work with AT&T. What does that say? Oh, they must be professionals because AT&T is not gonna hire, you know, like Joe Blow over here. They're going to hire, you know, a reputable company, Tesla, Greyhound, HBO. So, so this company has apparently worked with you know, well-known brands and not just locally, but known brands across the United States. So, so it's always good if you do have it, if you don't, and let's say you work with, with businesses, you know, small business owners in the community, you can mention that as well. You could have some images of their logos and that way, you know, people can, if people want to research or look and they can see, Oh, this restaurant was, is down the street even though i've never been but i know the area so definitely if you have something that you think can be shown when it comes to businesses that you work with definitely show it and over here they just have a bunch of cities where they work and then their footer there's nothing one thing that i recommend in the footer is adding your links like like kind of like your most important links have them on your footer because sometimes people will will kind of like scan your site and then they get to the bottom and they don't know what to do so have a few links at the bottom that people can follow to learn more about your company your services how to contact you and so on like right here they have the phone number but it's super small you can't click on it you can't highlight it it seems like it's just the image so definitely give people more information down here and one thing that i noticed that they're missing because i actually like the content that they have on the website they just need to make sure that their calls to action are clear and visible and because you want to lead people you know to contacting you to so that you can provide your service or or sell your service so the main thing that i noticed that they're missing is testimonials now going by google they only have 10 but 10 is better than none and so one thing that i would do is i would add a testimonial section here on their website and just show that the people there's been you know thousands of studies done about the effectiveness of testimonials and testimonials are one of the most powerful things on a website that makes people actually want to work with you 
that's why you'll see kind of like if you see Amazon, Amazon doesn't need to sell Amazon. Everybody knows about Amazon nowadays. But, you know, on each product that you go to buy, at the bottom, they have the, the reviews. Why? Because they know the, the more reviews a product has and the more positive reviews, the the more people are going to be willing to buy that product. Now, if it has a bunch of negative reviews, then at the same time, it's beneficial to Amazon because they're showing, hey, we actually care. We're showing the bad and the good. So having testimonials, especially from locals, like in my website, I'll show you the way we do it is we actually pull the Google, the Google business profile reviews and put them on the website. So as you'll see, we have 45 five star. These same reviews are the reviews that you're seeing over here. So in other words, it's verifiable. So people are like, oh, these are real reviews. It's not just some text with a name. It's actually a review that I can verify. I can see that a lot of the reviews on Google, they'll have the avatar, so they'll have an image or whatnot. And, and that's what you want to go after. You want to show everything, you know, the, the, the testimonials and don't try to nitpick. Like if you have kind of like in our case, if you have 45 reviews and you get a negative one, show that one as well. Like show everything. Don't just show the best. If, if you're showing 50 reviews and you have one bad review, People will understand you. You're not going to satisfy everybody out of 100 people, no matter how how likable you are, how great of a service you you provide. You're going to have that one or two, the one or two bad apples that no matter what you do, you can't satisfy them. And people understand that they know that they have a job. So they know that they that they deal with, you know, the bad apples as well. So. So don't nitpick, just show everything. Like in this case, they have 10 reviews and they have a 4.6. So that means somebody probably left like a two or a three, a three star review. Show it, show everything. Like don't, don't hide anything. And that will make your company look authentic and people will be more willing to work with your company. So that's about it for this one. Hopefully you guys have found some useful, useful information as to you know your cost to action and and the information that you should show above the fold and also you know with the phone number make sure that is that is accentuated so that people can easily find it on your website all throughout and then that they can click to call and so if you found something useful from this video make sure to like it subscribe to the channel so that you know whenever i make another video and share it with anybody that you think may find this useful and if you have a website that you'd like me to review just let me know you can leave a comment down below and if you don't like leaving you know comments on public websites like youtube you can go to unique web designer right here dot com and just send me a quick message and i'll do a review just like this and it's free of charge so you don't have to worry about paying or it's literally a free consultation for your website. So as always, hope this information was useful to you and unique is out.